Hey everyone, today we're going to go over how to use Flipgrid when your teacher asks you to create a video for the class. So when you go to your assignment, your teacher will either leave you the link to the Flipgrid or a Flipgrid code. If your teacher gives you a Flipgrid code, then you can copy the code and you can go to flipgrid.com and at the top left it'll say enter a flip code. Click that and then you will paste the code or just type it out and click the arrow here. Then it will ask you to log in. Log in with your student Google account. So we're going to click log into Google. We're going to click our student account and then we will enter our password. Now it identifies which student it is that is uploading the video. So we're going to go down to the bottom and we will click the green plus sign button. When you click the green plus sign, that's how you're gonna start creating your video. So I'll click the plus sign. It will also ask you to accept your microphone and your camera. You're giving it permission to use it so that Flipgrid can record you. So you'll say allow, then you will see your face. So you will start recording by clicking this bottom button. So you can click, it'll count you down three, two, one. This is when you can start talking. Let's say that you lost your train of thought for a second. You can pause the video and it's no longer recording. And if you want to pick back up, you can click again and it will continue to record. Then you can add text if you want. You can write anything. You can move the text around. You can change the font. You can also add emojis. You can add stickers. You can draw maybe a math problem on your video. You can even use the whiteboard option, which I really recommend. If you click on whiteboard, then you can also do additional problems. You can put filters on it. It'll change the view of how you look. I don't recommend the pixelated version unless you don't want to see your face. And then at the very bottom, you'll see add custom sticker. You can add stickers here if you want. And then when you're done, you can click the next button. And this is when you can start talking. Let's say that you lost your train of thought for a second. You can, it will review the video for you so you can see it just the way that your teacher will see it. If you've decided you wanna add more to the video and edit it, you can click add more in the bottom left and you can edit your video. But when you're done and you're ready to submit it, you can click next. It will require you to take a selfie so that people can see what the video is about before they enter. So if you just want to give a thumbs up and then you can click next. You can also edit the selfie. So if I wanted to say like the about me video, you can edit that and you can click next. Wait until it's done. It'll display your name, so make sure your name pops up. You can say what the title was about. And then after you put, make sure that your name is at the top, your title is done. You don't have to put a link. You just click Submit Video. It will say congrats, and it'll say your name, and that's how you are sure that your Flipgrid was uploaded. If you want to download your video just in case, you can click download video and save it to your computer, or you can download the QR code. 